What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to have a little bit of a look at a card which I have been waiting for, quite frankly. I showed you Reaper the other day, and I've shown you ADR2 equals Searcher, and both of these cards are weird. They are not like regular Digimon cards. They don't have levels. They don't digivolve from anything or into anything. They're just very strange cards. Well, we knew that we were waiting for Mother D Reaper. And we knew that when that card came along, it would basically explain everything. Well, wonderful news, ladies and gentlemen. That card has come along, and it's pretty much explained everything. Though it's not the only new card we need to talk about today. You see, we've also seen ADR-03 Pendulum Feet. This is a free cost, 3,000 power card, no level, cannot digivolve from or into anything else. And when you play, you reveal the top three cards of your deck. You add a Digimon with D Reaper in its traits and an ADR 02 Searcher among them to your hand, placing the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. Incidentally, all these cards we're talking about today obviously do have D Reaper in their traits. Now, ADR02 Searcher is kind of relevant here. I should mention translated proxies come from the lovely folks at DigimonCard.dev. And you can have up to 50 copies of it in your deck. So when we're playing Pendulum Feet here, and we're looking at the top three cards of our deck and looking for a D Reaper or an ADR02 Searcher, you can have like 49 of them in your deck. So you can, more so than most skills along these lines, really tilt the odds in your favor which is pretty gosh darn important. For what it's worth, the first ADR02 Searcher you play becomes a one cost. After that, once you've got one in play, it's just a regular free cost. You cannot attack players, but you can attack Digimon. And when you play it, you draw a card. It's a really nice card. So yeah, if you're playing this kind of D Reaper deck, then ADR03 Pendulum Feet is clearly a great card draws extra cards, searches things out, gives you extra consistency, playing one card and then potentially getting two back, I cannot be the only one that thinks this is pretty gosh darn cool. But wait, there's more. We've also got ADR08 Optimizer. Now this is a 10 cost to play normally 9,000 power, so you're in kind of expensive level 5 or weak level 6 territory, but that doesn't really matter because it has no level and cannot evolve from or into anything else. These are all standalone cards. But what we've got here is a rather lovely play skill or attacking skill. It works both times. When you are attacking or playing once per turn, if you control a Mother Reaper with five or more Digivolution cards, you may reveal the top three cards of your deck and play a Digimon with D Reaper in its traits with a play cost of 10 or less from among them without paying its memory cost. Yeah. Now, as a side note, that does not include the Reaper we saw the other day because Reaper we saw the other day is a 20 cost, but it would include this Optimizer. It would include Pendulum Feet. It would include Searcher. And I mean, I know we're having to jump ahead a little bit here, so I apologize. Unfortunately, well... I don't think it includes Mother D Reaper because it doesn't have a play cost, which is a little bit weird. We'll get there in a moment. So what we basically end up with here is just a really big card whereby when you attack or play it, you get to play a card for free. I mean, look, you are revealing the top three cards of your deck and you're looking for a card with D Reaper in its traits. As long as you're playing enough D Reaper cards, and you really should be in a deck like this, you're playing something for free here. If your Mother Reaper has five or more Digivolution cards, which again is a big thing, we'll get there in a minute. Because remember, Reaper, when playing this Digimon card, you may trash the bottom seven Digivolution cards from one of your Mother D Reaper, and then actually play it for free. And it's got Rush. And at the end of the attack, you can put two searches from your trash to the bottom of this Digimon's Digivolution cards to unsuspend this Digimon. So they all do work very, very nicely together. It really just depends on how good Mother D Reaper actually ends up being. But Optimizer here lets you play a card for free every time you play or every time you attack. I cannot think that's a bad thing for a second. So we got Search that draws your cards. 
We've got Pendulum Feet, which lets you search out your cards. We've got Optimizer that lets you play cards for free. It's probably time we talk about Mother now, isn't it? You see, it has no play cost. It has no evolution cost. And it clearly says at the top of the card, Digitama. There's no ifs, buts, or maybes here. This is a Digitama. With 15,000 power, you play in a deck of a bunch of Digimon that cannot evolve from Digitama. I mean, yeah, something's going on here. Now, the lovely Ensign Gaming has provided our translation here. These are a mix of Ensign Gaming and DigimonCard.dev. That's where our translations come from. They have given a couple of very important notes for this card. Number one, even though it is a Digitama, this Digimon can be in the battle area as it has a power of 15,000. And number two, this card will not be affected by the rule. Digitama cannot exist on the battlefield. It's really important. Basically, it is a Digitama that you can bring onto the battlefield without evolving. And it's a Digitama that can exist in play on the battlefield, despite the fact that it is a Digitama. It's weird, ladies and gentlemen. It's weird. But I tell you what, this one looks kind of fun. I mean, firstly, 15,000 power is absolutely huge. On both players' turns, this Digimon can neither attack or be affected by your opponent's effects. So in that way, it is kind of like a Digitama. It's not here to attack and cause a bunch of havoc in that regard. But also, it cannot be affected by your opponent's effects. So anything they would want to do to try and get rid of it, they can't. But he's got a main skill once per turn. While you have no other Mother D Reaper in play, you may put an ADR2 Searcher in play or a card named ADR2 Searcher in your hand at the bottom of this card as an evolution source. Because remember, we need to build up evolution sources here. That's what we're aiming for. Optimizer only lets you play a card for free if you've got a Mother D Reaper with five or more Digivolution cards. And Reaper... Let's you play a 15,000 power Digimon for free if you can trash the bottom seven Digivolution cards from a Mother D Reaper. So we need to make sure that we're getting the cards under here. And this is one way that we do, which is lovely. I'm not sure that's enough. It's once per turn. And I love that it's once per turn. I love once per turn. You can get one under there and that's lovely. But we're going for five or seven turns here. It's too slow. This seems way, way too slow. And this worries me a little bit. Now, we know that Reaper lets you put two ADR searches from your trash to the bottom of this Digimon's Digivolution cards, which is lovely. But as it stands at the moment, Reaper cannot evolve into Mother D Reaper, which is what you would need for that to be relevant. So I still don't know if we've got the whole story here. This still looks like something is missing. I like that you can put a searcher from either your hand or in play to the bottom of it as an evolution source. But it's going to take too long to get five or seven under there. So maybe there are some option cards we're missing or tamers we're missing. And I do think it's pretty important to note we've seen ADR 2, 3, and 8. Are we going to see 4, 5, 6, and 7 in the set? We might. And then that might give us a little bit of nice extra added context, which will make this make a bit more sense. Now, there is one other skill here. On your turn, once per turn, when a card with a type D Reaper in your hand comes into play, you may reduce its play cost by one for every card in this Digimon's evolution source. Now, it's only once per turn. You can't use this to flood the field. But for instance, that 10 cost optimizer... In theory, if you can get 10 evolution sources, you play it for free. And then, of course, when you play it, because you've got five or more Digivolution cards under a mother, you can then play another card for free. And incidentally, when you're playing cards for free with Optimizer, it doesn't say play skills don't activate. So there is a way here that you could chain Optimizer. Play an Optimizer. Oh, I've got a mother with five or more Digivolution cards. Reveal the top three. Oh. I can play an Optimizer for free because it's got a play cost of 10 or less. Oh, look at the top three cards in my deck. And you can potentially play all four of them in one go. Now, this one you are only allowed to play four of. The chances of being able to chain all four in one go are pretty slim, I grant you. 
but it does remain possible. So what we've got here are really weird self-standing cars that really cannot evolve into or out of anything. And they're weird. They're extremely weird. Very weird. And they all rely on Mother having a lot of Digivolution cards. And as it stands at the moment, the only way, and again, it's a Digitama, right? So the only way we're getting Digivolution cards under it is using skills that put Digivolution cards under it. And as it stands at the moment, all we've got is once per turn, while you have no other Mother D Reaper in play, you can put a Searcher under. But that is too slow as it stands at the moment. And look, turn one, you hatch a Mother. Turn two, you bring it out. Turn three, you hatch a Mother. You are going to want to bring another Mother out. <laughs> so yeah that is a little bit weird and i still think there's more to learn and actually as we say that i need to keep going quite frankly because it turns out i missed a couple of reveals we have a couple other d reapers about which we can have a little bit of a chat and these do help to answer some of the questions we've had so we've got adr01 yuri and what we've got here is a 5 cost to play normally, 5,000 power, so it's kind of like a level 4. But again, these don't have levels, they do not Digivolve into or out of anything. And we got a skill whereby you can rest this Digimon in your main phase, reveal the top 5 cards of your deck, and put an ADR02 searcher you find there at the bottom of one of your Mother D Reaper in play. And I said we needed more ways to get cards under Mother D Reaper, and this is one of the big ways. Again, remember that Searcher can have 50 copies in your deck. So when you're looking at the top 5 cards of your deck, this isn't like normal. You are more likely to actually draw into a searcher here than you would be for a normal skill like this. So now all of a sudden, let's say you've got a couple of Yuri in play, you can potentially get three searchers underneath your Mother D Reaper in one go. Two from your two Yuri, one from Mother herself, and now we're getting there. And this is what we were looking for. We need ways to get five, seven, maybe more evolution sources under... And this is going to be a very important way to do so. We've also got ADR09 Gatekeeper, an 11 cost to play, 10,000 power. So again, we're talking kind of a level 6 here, but there is no level and it can't digivolve. That's just roughly where we are. And what we've got here is it's a security card. When the battle is finished, put this card into play without paying its cost. So it's a standard security card. You get to play it for free. But it's an 11 cost 10,000 power Digimon. So when we're talking about the security cards, we're usually expecting something, frankly, a little bit weaker. You know, think of something like Ankleimon. That was in the first wave of security cards, level 4, 4,000 power. In terms of security cards that just get put into play, that's the kind of thing we're thinking about. Not a 10,000 power monster like this. Oh yeah, and when you play it, while you have a card named Mother D Reaper in play, Recovery 1. Yeah, this deck has Recovery as well. Now, the play cost of 11 here is actually really, really important. Because remember that Optimizer lets you play a card when you play or attack, if you've got a Mother with 5 or more Digivolution cards, with a play cost of 10 or less for free. This is incidentally not a coincidence. This is very very much supposed to be the case here right they are deliberately making it 10 or less to exclude this card playing for free is good playing for free with recovery and again if this comes out as a security card you play it for free and you get the recovery as well which is brilliant but you do not just get the recovery by playing it normally for free with optimizer because you can't oh yeah and on your opponent's turn, while you have a card named Mother D Reaper with six or more evolution sources in play, all of your opponent's Digimon get security a check minus one. Yep. That's kind of brilliant, quite frankly. That's kind of brilliant. Because what this means is that your opponent's Digimon are going to be so much less effective. If they don't have an extra security attack, as in if they're just normal, they have security check zero. And they don't do anything. And the translation we've got from Ensign Gaming, which is usually incredibly reliable, 
basically tells us that this is all your opponent's Digimon. Now, again, it's not just when you've got this card in play. You have to have this card in play and a Mother D Reaper with six or more evolution sources. And this is a deck that is going to get really, really big if we can get it rolling. And I still think there's more to see. Now, we've seen ADR. Let me get the list here. So we've seen ADR one, two, three, eight, and nine, I think. I think that's what we've got here. So, there's more. There must be more. There must be some more do we need to fill in here. And that's going to be interesting to see what happens when we do. We've got some ways to get Mother D Reaper Evolution sources. I'm still not sure it's enough. But I get the suspicion there might be more. And we've got some seriously good skills. And I keep calling these weird cards they are. But this seems like if we can make this consistent enough, and again, I think we need to reserve full judgment when we've seen all the cards. But if we can, this looks like it could be a real powerhouse. For now, we've seen five of these cards and they remain, and I mean this very sincerely, the actual weirdest cards we've seen so far. And there is definitely something we're missing. I for one would like to know what it is. But for now, I just want to know what you think about all of this stuff. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wasi Plays.